Hello guys and girls, happy April to you. It finally feels like spring is here. And for some music lovers out there, April equals record store day releases time. Well, actually some record store day releases were announced back in March. But anyway, have you even heard of the day we're talking about? Let us, meanwhile on the other stage, provide you with brief history and information. Record Store Day is an annual event founded in 2007 by several record store owners in USA. It exists to draw attention and support small business that couldn't compete with internet piracy and increasing volume of digital sales. It's held on the third Saturday of April each year to celebrate the culture of independently owned record stores. Each store holds their own big party with hundreds of recording and other artists participating in a day by making special appearances, performances, meet and greets with their fans, art exhibitions and releases of special vinyl or CD releases, along with other cool promotional stuff to mark the occasion. Metallica officially kicked off the event at Rasputin Music in Mountain View on April 19th, the first year. The day was founded in the US, but through the years it gained popularity internationally. First year it had about 10 special releases, by now it has more than 400, with such ambassadors as Jesse Hughes, Ozzy Osbourne, Josh Homme, Iggy Pop and Jack White. Independent music stores this year will be offering unique and interesting material from David Bowie, Bob Dylan, Metallica, Johnny Cash, Madonna and many others. This this year's ambassadors Metallica, again, are issuing a CD with their Battic Land performance back in 2003 to raise money for charity. Ones who were at the origins of Record Store Day did a long vid explaining why independent record stores are so important to them. As well as vinyl, which by the way, crazily increased almost to the level of 80s sales. Reports say that the last time vinyl sales were so high in the US was in 1989 before compact discs started to dominate the music market in 1990. It was recently announced that vinyl is the fastest growing music format, having overtaken streaming in terms of revenue. That sounds quite surrealistic. Imagine saying that in 90s or noughties when people were talking death of such formats as tapes or CDs, not to mention vinyl itself. We are not crazy vinyl collectors or die-hard old classics fans, but looking for official release list of this year's Record Store Day, we found some stuff that grabbed our attention too. You know, a lot of quite young indie musicians find this as a good opportunity to do something special and release some interesting material. So here are our picks. Ezra Furman. We told you about Ezra about a month ago when we were going through the list of this year's South by Southwest performers. And look, here he is again. Ezra recorded cover songs from artists like Back, Air Kid Fire and The Replacements and pressed them on 12-inch silver vinyl for his Record Store Day release. I have always played other people's songs, alone and with friends, at home and on the road. I know that our audience's main interest is in our original songs and for that I'm on it, but I can't seem to stop playing covers. I listen to so much great music and just ache to be able to inhabit it more fully. That is what Ezra himself said about covering. And honestly, we fully agree on that. Wolf Alice. Ellie Rosal of Wolf Alice said that they never actually gave Living You Track a physical release, so they chose Record Store Day to do it. It also includes Ben's favorite B-side track, White Leather, with beautiful artwork created by Eden Sailor. Get Me Home for Tea. This particular one actually grabbed our attention just with its cover. This compilation features rare psychedelic and freak beat tracks from the UK in the 1960s, taken from the catalogue of Parlophone Records. The release comes on psychedelic swirl coloured vinyl, exclusively for Record Store Day 2016. We'll unfortunately have no opportunity to buy it anyway, but thankfully we can listen to the whole thing on the internet. As always, we did a special YouTube playlist that has all the listed releases, so you can listen to everything we talk about and if you have an opportunity, think through your strategy of selling 
celebrating Record Store Day and grabbing actual physical copies at your local stores. Miles Davis, Grammy Award winning producer and musician Robert Glasper and singer-songwriter Bilal reinterpret the classic Miles Davis song The Ghetto Walk with the new track Ghetto Walking. This new song will be on upcoming release Everything's Beautiful. This release was mentioned by some other music fans that we look up to. So we decided to give it a listen and really enjoyed it. We encourage you to do the same. It's a really great release and the cover is beautiful. Run the Jewels. Well, actually, it's not really a release. This is a Run the Jewels branded cardboard viewer. It's this handmade paper thing you put your phone in and watch panoramic videos on YouTube. Guys from Run the Jewels just decided to do a record store day special one. And we can't really blame them for that. The design on the thing is dope. It's also limited to 3,000 copies. So I bet it will be resold the same day on eBay auctions. Florence and the Machine. On the A side, it features both the studio and demo versions of Delilah track and on the B-side, a special recording of Neil Young's Only Love Can Break Your Heart, pressed on beautiful 180 gram custom blue vinyl. Florence is one of our favorite artists ever, and her visuals are always so beautifully well done. We just couldn't ignore this special release. In our YouTube playlist, you can check out the live version of Only Love Can Break Your Heart, performed in classic Florence style. This 16 song LP, as opposed to 8 tracks available on another one, is sure to have dedicated and casual muck collectors alike lining up outside of their local record stores to pick up the special release for Record Store Day. Here, Muck's taking listeners back to the roots of his writing and recording straight from his bathroom, G's Jazz Studios. This special collection of songs showcases Mac DeMarco in his truest form. You can give a listen to the whole thing in our playlist too. Falls. Our last but definitely not least peak. Back in our big covers review, we already told you how much we loved Falls reinvention of Mark Ronson's hit Daffodils. Track is just so good itself, but this cover makes it even more special. We can't wait hearing it from every window this summer. Also, this single features track Rain, which was kind of released earlier through poolside sessions. So dearly loved by Falls. This version is a lot more dreamy, having all this synth buzzes. Track is really simple, super chill, and we love it a lot. Cover of the 7 inch is quite remarkable too, done by a longtime Falls partner, Leif Podhajski, in his beautiful, in easy recognizable trippy geometrical style. It worth grabbing even just for the artwork. And that's it, all the releases that drew our attention this year. Again, we unfortunately are not able to participate in Record Store Day in our living areas. But if you live in USA, UK, Europe, Australia, Japan, Canada or somewhere near, you can actually score yourself some of these or other special releases. Check out the full list of participating countries and shops. We'll drop the proper link in the description. Nowadays, there's a lot of opposite opinions on Record Store Day. What do you think about it? Is it now owned by major labels and centered around pop sales with inflated prices? Or is it still helping independent record stores to grow and develop? In the comments, you can tell us all your thoughts on Record Store Day. Tell us if you heard about it or maybe even enjoyed it in the past. Tell us about your peaks for this year. Write us and follow us on every social media. Subscribe to this channel, give this video a like and share it with all your friends. Don't forget to check our playlist. This time it turned to be really trippy and relaxed. You can find all the mentioned videos and a special poll by clicking here in the corner and you'll find all the other links in the description. Support your favorite indie creators and peace off. <laughs>